Today we're going to make Dr. Ann's energy soup. This is for all the busy people who don't have time to really nourish their bodies, which is so important. We certainly eat for all the wrong reasons. So we're going to start today with a little energy soup. It's very simple. You'll need dulse, which is a form of seaweed that you can buy at most of your health food stores. So we'll take a handful of dulse and put it into the blender. This is a truly a fast food. Okay. Next we take some rejuvelac, which we've made previously. And on another tape we'll go over how to make rejuvelac. And we pour the rejuvelac in first so that we can soak the dulse and start to get it softened. And you want to put it about halfway in your blender. So we'll leave that to the side for a moment while the dulse soaks there. Now let's throw in a little bit more. I kind of like the flavor of dulse a lot. Next, what you want to do with your uh, energy soup is put the things that are going to take the hardest to blend in first, which would be your apples. Now I have these apples already peeled here, but you, it's nice to find organic apples and you peel them and quarter them and we'll take out the seeds because we're going for smoothness in the soup here. We'll just get these quartered. We but you could use just about anything. Dr. Ann sometimes says you can use a little watermelon. The apple is basically for the taste. It's going to give it real, just add a slight sweetness to the taste. So we'll quarter up the apples and get those ready. Uh, let's see, some of the other things you might use. Um, I had someone bring over some fresh currants from her garden. We could throw those in for a little flavor. Um, you can use some of your sprouts, the buckwheat greens or sunflower greens, which we have in the kitchen. These don't look so hot right now. This is lamb's quarter. This you can find out in your garden. This is an ordinary garden weed called lamb's quarter. Isn't it beautiful? They're pretty and we can eat these. This is very high in calcium. Mmm, and when you put it in the energy soap, it really adds a nice flavor. Um, let's see, these are buckwheat greens that we've already harvested. We'll harvest a few here just to show you how we do it. Very simple to grow. And we'll also use three bean sprouts. We have these little sprout bags and it's so simple. You take them, you soak them for 10 hours overnight, and then you just hang them up and you rinse them every day. And within, say, two days, You've got sprouts ready to eat. And here we have mung, lentil, and peas, green peas sprouted. So we'll ultimately put some of those in too. Okay, let's throw in a couple of the apples and get that started. Remember, and as it's going, we'll add a few more. starting to thicken up a little bit. So I would say I've probably I would say I've probably used about four apples so far. This will be a double blender. This will be enough for two blenders full. And what you want to do is make this in the morning and because of the rejuvelac, it will last all day long. The fermented food in it will keep it uh, healthy for you and it won't throw in a little bit more apple. So we're going to make enough for the entire day and you just put it in the refrigerator or put it in a container and take it along with you when you have those busy lunches and everybody else is running out to grab a hamburger and you have your full nourishment right here with your energy soap. Okay, while that's blending, I'm going to take a couple of my nice, soft, organic avocados. Get these ready. You just peel them in half. Let's find another real soft one for the good one. Okay, now see, we just we just about got that completely blended. So now we'll start to add some of our greens that we've pre-washed here. We'll just do enough to fill it, and then we'll pour half out, and then we'll add more, so we'll have enough for a full day here. 
or for two people, because you eat this every time you get hungry. It could be five times a day, ten times a day. And the more that you do the energy soup, pretty soon the less your body will require. But initially, a lot of people need a lot. So we want to make enough to last you all day long. And by the way, this is all the nourishment you need for the day. You've got everything in here. I'm going to put some of the lamb's quarter in there. I'm going to peel off the uh, leaves off the stems. Just throw that in. Believe me, this is really delicious. I'm so excited just making it. Now, generally what I do is I get up in the morning and I prepare this first thing in the morning. Some of the leaves don't look so good there. Now let's blend this up a little bit. It's starting to get thicker and thicker. Then we'll throw some of our harvested buckwheat in. pour half of this out now because we have half of it made. We're going to keep adding some more things to thicken it, thicken it up. So we'll put this aside and we'll get started here again. Um, let's see, we'll add maybe another piece of apple. We'll throw in a handful of these sprouts, full of protein and nourishment. Well, we'll throw in a couple of handfuls. Lots of peas and lentils and all of that good stuff. And we'll blend those up. Now, if you don't have any lamb's quarter lying around in your yard, you could also substitute a little bit of kale. And kale is a very strong vegetable, but it's also very high in vitamin C. And you could put a little bit of kale in there, calcium also. Now, let's get that blended in. It's getting thicker and thicker, if you can tell by the camera. Right, and now we'll start adding the avocado. And just kind of spoon it out. You can do this ahead of time too and have them all ready. Talk about a treat. And don't worry about the avocado being fattening because remember this is all you're eating for the day. This is your complete balanced protein meal. Okay, um, let's add a few of the sunflower seeds in for extra nutty taste. Just harvest a few of those. Put them in with the avocado. And we can use about three good avocados in this. Don't remember, we don't worry about the calories or count them in this way of eating because this is going to be your complete meal. And we'll blend that up. Now. You have to stop it and push it in. And then we start it up again. You see it's okay, we'll stop and mix it up a little bit again. Oh boy, does this look good. Mm, perfect. You don't want to. S okay, it's just about ready. We got all the. like the motor is really 
was straining there. But I think we have our soup made. Voila, it's done. About 15 minutes, you have a complete meal. So let's try a little. We have a complete meal ready for the entire day. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? We still have the second half, by the way, to blend and add. I'm just going to have a little of this. It's got everything I need in it for the day. Mmm. Is that delicious? One of the main things to remember in making your energy soup is not to confine yourself to what I've said on the tape. Be inventive. Be creative. You could use a, a look few of the tops from beet tops, the carrot tops. The tops of carrots are actually more nutritious than the carrots themselves for you. Um, look around in your garden. Start to discover and learn the different weeds, the edible weeds that are good for you and certainly very inexpensive. Um, it costs you approximately 75 cents a day to eat in eating this protein uh, full balanced meal like this. Uh, another suggestion, you could take a few pieces of watermelon at some point in the day and cut up and put in there if you want something crunchy. Or the protein nuggets uh, that we learned to make on one of the other tapes, one of the other recipes. Um, you could add um, some of the rejuvelite crackers that you make, but don't, don't restrict yourself. Be creative and uh, experiment and try. You can try different consistencies. Uh, you can make it thicker, you can make it thinner, but um, just enjoy it and experiment. Thank you. Mm. I do love this stuff.